All right, well, Captain Martinez has just flown this in to me, and uh, I'm not usually into the unboxing thing. However, uh, it seems that this would be a very interesting unboxing experience, and uh, though I have not uh, done much research or collecting at all on any of these LOL surprise outrageous millennial girl dolls, I do like things having to do with space. So I thought, well, Gamma Girl, this is kind of interesting, or Gamma Babe. So I thought, well, this is pretty neat. So I thought the box is attractive. It's got 25 su plus surprises with two outfits. Uh, it's a fashion doll and it demands that you collect all four. Well, I don't think we're going to collect all four because I don't like all four, but I do like three of them. So, anyway, this is the Gamma Babe and we're going to go about unboxing this and uh, trying to navigate what is the best way to unbox this and is there a secret? Ah, you see, it has something that says open here. So. First thing we'll do here, see, open right here. There we are. Now that is open. Ah, and then look at that. That opens up. And now we even have instructions on how to unbox. All right. Well, I can tell you that just this box is a rather expensive proposition for the MGA company. This is the same company that brought you Bratz dolls uh, and the Rainbow High dolls. So uh, here's your unboxing instructions. So first it says to remove the outer sleeve and lift the flap and fold up to reveal the backdrop. All right, well, let's see what all that means. I guess this is the outer sleeve and we shall remove this it's a tab and a piece of tape. So I'm going to cut through the tape like a ribbon cutting ceremony. Or perhaps smashing the champagne bottle on a yacht, which is of course what we did for the sea anomaly. One of the reasons why I had to build the thousand foot sea anomaly is because Captain Martinez keeps finding things for me that I'd like to possess and I need a place big enough to put them and I love just sailing around the world so having that gigantic uh, boat is just wonderful. All right, so let's see. Uh, then we're, I guess we're going to the, uh, we're looking for that end, this end here. So we're going to be looking for this end. So let's find that. Uh, no. All right. So, ah, well, there's number two. So we're still removing something to get to that. So, yeah, there's still there's a sleeve here. I'm not. Ah, no, so this must come up all the way. There we are. And then that folds down. Ah, and there we are. Now we have done it. And so, and we knock over the camera. All right, so here we are. We have a stage, and then these pull here, and then these tabs. So you see, we pull this open here. It's like a stage. Take me to your leader, but first give me a makeover. Now, that's not how you spell your, it's Y O U R, but all right, they're being creative there. And these tabs are meant to fold into here. So you can see that they're meant to fold here. This is going to fold. Now, oh, let's see, actually. Ah, oh, that's the back. Okay, so that goes down. And then this, I'm going to have to find where this folds in. Um. Hmm, not sure about that. To review these instructions very carefully. Ah, 
Now they go behind it. I see. So they go here. And then this is going to catch. See that catches on there. And then this here. What they've done is they've used two pieces of cardboard here to make it doubly strong to hold that back because it has a resistance in it. It's been folded one way. Right? And this is up. Way here. See? There you have your stage. Now, uh, in here we have a box here, all right, this is number four, and we will open this here, ah, you see, it's got a little tab, and then you have this serrated area here, so you can pop that open carefully, you don't want to rip the box more than you need to, and we did a little bit more than we needed to, nothing's perfect, even in my perfect life, there are things that happen that are annoying. All right, here we are. Now, this folds down and ah, look, we have a treasure chest. Don't we just love treasure? Yes, when you're on a big boat like mine, you're always looking for treasure. I have treasures brought to me on the yacht. Now, what do we have here in the treasure box? Right, we have this off here, and then we have pieces of a stand. We dispense with the binding here. There you are, very quickly. And then we have these slides. These are 3D slides. We have two of those. Alright. They have sparkles on them. It's like a slide, right? And gamma babe in uh, sort of animated looking versions of them. And you know, I don't know exactly how that goes together, but we'll about that later. Now we have a hairbrush. rather wide. Then we have a couple of stand pieces here. So now we're going to put those back in and see if we need them. Okay, and then of course we have our stand. Now we know we need the stand because these dolls don't stand on their own. And oftentimes things that are supposed to stand on their own do not stand very well. I know for sure that these do not stand on their own. So opening that and then here you have some, ah, some instructions MGA the company made these gave us this joy and it shows you how to put the stand together all right well, we already know that now you have a stand piece hidden here which is very nice you see you have you have these two stand pieces here and then you have another stand, so if you lose them, because you often do, it's very possible. It's a rather small piece. And then that fits in there. And then this goes on top. And there you are. And now you have your stand. Ah, and here's a surprise. And I know what the surprise is. This is, look at that, you have to, it has like nice paper. And you have your 3D glasses. And that's to, or to look at your slides. Right, so we have that. All right, but what we're really here for is our gamma babe. So that is going to be in our front compartment. Yeah. This definitely is taking unboxing to a whole nother level, isn't it? And I guess that in itself is can be enjoyable for some people. I actually must admit I am finding it to be entertaining. Right, as if there weren't enough things to do in the world that need to get done, we take time to unbox something. So, here we are. Ah, you see? Now this, 
You see how it's sort of a blue and pinkish writing and it's double exposed. Well, that means it's going to be 3D. So you will, well, this is funny. If I put the glasses in front of the camera, does it give us a 3D effect? Science guy, I don't know if it, I don't think it can work. But let me, all right, well, it doesn't think it works. But it is funny to think about, you see? You see how you turn, look at that. Special effects. And you see here, you can't quite, it's, it's distorted, right? But then if you put the blue filter, then you see the word special effects, you're filtering out the red. And if you put the red, you're filtering out the blue. And then it says, leading. And then two Bs. Right. I don't know what that is, but right, if I put on these glasses and I look at it and uh, well, it is it is 3D, um, but I don't know I don't exactly know what it's uh, leading BB. Um, well, anyway, uh, perhaps it works better with the slides, but on to the unboxing. Da -da -da -da. And here we are. Ah, oh, and there she is, our Gamma Babe. All right. She is, there she is here. Our Gamma Babe. All right, now we're going to remove her from the box. Yeah. Now, sometimes they come with these bindings. Uh, that there's a plastic kind of binding here, but then it has those little thin rubber bands that I like. So I'm going to keep those because sometimes it helps them hold on to things. So I'm just gonna keep that on her arm. But you see this kind is more like the clothing kind of binding. That one I'm going to just snip. There. And we're going to investigate what is holding her legs. Ah, we have a rubber band. I do not like to throw away the rubber bands because they help action figures hold on to things. And that goes around her leg. And then uh, we have a rubber band around her arm here. Pull that off. Yeah, there. And then her hair. Let's see how that is held. Take that off. And we have, ah, you see we have those clothing type tabs. There's actually a little machine that has a needle and inside this little machine is all these little plastic pieces like this, like little anchors. And what you do is you, you push the machine into the material, pull a trigger, and it puts the anchor on one side, and then you have the anchor on the other side. So if you had like a clothing tab, and you wanted to secure it, you would take this tool and you it, it has all the little anchors inside the handle here. And then you push the needle in and pull the trigger and it pushes it through to the other side. And then you have it locked in place. And that's how this is done. I don't have one of those that will show you right now. But if I find it, I will bring it to your attention because it's kind of neat. Let's see if that, ah, oh, there we are. And that removes our Gamma Babe from her tethers. Be careful when we're pulling her hair. Don't want to damage anything. There we are. And there we are. All right. And there we are, Gamma Babe. All right, let's get this box out of the way. Here we are, there she is. All right, so she has silver hands and yeah, little pointed fingernails. And get some more light on that. All right, and we have uh, silver lips. Her head has a, not really an up and down articulation, slight, 
mostly just side to side. And then we have the old legs. Do they click? Yes, they have one click. One click like the kind of like the old barbs. The old barbs had plastic legs and they would have one click. There we go, one click. A little bit of an angle on there. Um, let's see, we do have hip articulation. Forward and backwards and moving side to side. Yeah. And shoulders and we even have elbows. Full wrist articulation. Let's see that. It actually comes out. Push that back in. Alright. There she has clothing and it has a velcro. So you can change her outfit. Alright. And then she has this very springy hair. Yeah. That little braids in there. Very complicated. Ah, you see, the braids here then wrap around her own hair. That's just unique. It's actually quite fantastic. I don't know how many people can appreciate that, but I think it's quite a lot of work. And now this here, you have this sort of like a plastic that holds the hair, like a super hairspray that holds it in place. And now, she has surprises. So we're going to look at what kind of surprises she has. Actually, let's put her on her stand here. See how that works. So that can go launch up forward, up higher. Put that around her waist. And there she is. She is now standing. And there she is. All right. Now, to move her out of the way and see what surprises she has. So, first we have her little wardrobe here and these can undo all of those so I've seen that there are sets where you can actually hang these like I guess you know there's like a lol house or something and she can hang her clothes there and these also have those little tethers you see but they're little tiny ones. I don't want to rip these bags, so carefully put the scissors in between. And then cut those. And one more. And this material, it's not paper, it's it's a plastic weave. So it's like a canvas, but plastic. So in here, you can take that out. And we have different outfit. Like that. And there she has this purple outfit. And look at that, an actual working zipper. So miniature. Look at that. Tiny working zipper. Right? Pants there. Right? Let's see what's in this one. Out here. And then this is some sort of top. Okay, very space looking. You know, it's a lot like a 1950s sci-fi outfit. This little crush the wrong way when put into her wardrobe. I imagine it's a machine that assembles all this in a factory. Sometimes things get a little mushed. All right, let's see here. Lastly. All right. And here we have a skirt. There we are. Yeah, space skirt to go with the space top. All right, see how that's all gonna to go together. 
and we have more surprises here. So for Gamma Babe, uh, you see that this has like a perforated plastic. And we can tear. Not so easy because it's actually taped. There we are. Can get right to it. Yeah, let's see what we have inside here. More paper. Fancy paper. Oh, let's see what this is here. Oh. Look at that. Gamma glasses. Actually reminds me of Dragon Ball Z targeting glasses. So that would go on our Gamma Babe and clasp around the back and has an actual clasp that snaps in. So tiny. Push that in, and then that clasps. Of course, you need to do that around her head because her hair is more difficult to stretch it over her abundant hairstyle. So we will unclasp that. It's pretty neat. Well, now unclasp that soon. And then here, another set of sunglasses. All right. Yeah, let's see how she looks with these. Sort of. Alright, like that. Yeah, get those in the middle. Now you have to sort of secure them with her hair to get it symmetrically over her eyes, you see, like that. Alright. You see, this is the kind of thing that GL1, in his current condition, certainly cannot show you. As a Megazord, I don't believe he can articulate his hands so well. So, what we have here, fascinating, we have earrings, arm braces. We have, well, is it a laser gun or is it a hair dryer? Yeah. Well, with all that hair, she probably needs a hairdryer much more than she needs a laser gun. So, in here we have this snaps on here. Okay. Hollow snap here. Be careful with the plastic. There we are. That snaps on. And now the arm braces, the way that those go on. Yeah, she's putting her hand out like here. Put the arm brace on. And the hand comes off. And then put the brace on. Yeah, put the hand there. And then she has these earrings. And those. Hmm. You know, something is amiss here. These earrings are mouth in. There's supposed to be a peg on the end of the earring where it sticks into her ear, I believe. Something is not right here. Now, I'll have to investigate that. Ah, and these here... Our boot covers. Boot covers? Why we haven't even found boots yet? Well, let's see. I know there are boots. They are in this container here. As I saw from the picture that she has boots. So. Here we are. Boots. More beautiful paper. Right. Then these boot covers, I've never seen boot covers before, but it's fascinating. Somehow this fits on here. 
It's no Velcro to take it apart. Not exactly sure how this goes. Put the boot in first, I believe. So you put the boot on. Yeah, let's see. Go. Perhaps we'll have to look at the picture again. Not sure if that's the right. No, I believe it's okay. Alright. Then we'll take our gamma babe here. Put her foot inside. Ah, but wait. Ah, that's you see, the these should be on the outside, so no, that's not right. So it's going to be the other food cover, you see. Process of elimination. So we know you see this this boot goes on this foot because it's curved in that direction. So we know that that's the boot for her her right foot. See, and then it goes like that. Slide that on. All right. And then something like that. Well, I'm going to stop the video now, and then I'm going to complete assembly, assemble her outfit, and then I will be back. All right. So I've got the outfit on my Gamma Babe, and I actually liked it so much that I purchased a second one so I could have a different outfit on her and I could look at them both at the same time. Uh, that's the advantages of being GL2. However, uh, there are still some outfits one could put on. She has, you know, this uh, snazzy jacket uh, with shorts and, uh, you know, her original outfit uh, that you see here. And um, y you can uh, vary these things in uh, various permutations of the same thing. Um, However, I was correct uh, that, uh, yes, it came with uh, 25 plus surprises. And one of the surprises were that, yes, in fact, the earrings were both missing their little pegs, you see. Because on the second model here, you see there's a little peg. And uh, that is necessary to go into her ear. Now, what we could do is we could make that a communication peg. And one girl has it in one ear and the other girl has it in the other. And now they can communicate to each other, which actually kind of makes sense. But now we are stuck with two earrings that do not work. So what will we do? Well, of course we could use our old trusty friend shoe glue and glue that onto her ear, but that won't do. I believe I can come up with a solution to uh, install a peg into that and uh, if I am successful with that I will get back to you on how I did that. The 3D glasses um, seem to be most useful for looking at the box that has uh, several 3D features. In fact our Gamma Babe right here is in 3D and the lettering here is in 3D. Um, the little slides um, I did not very much in 3D. I'm not really sure the purpose of those and I'm not sure how this cinematic thing works. Um, one improvement I would say is perhaps a little bit more direct instruction on how things are go together or how they are meant to be used. For example, um, these boot covers, you see. So she came with Gamma boots and uh, then these boot covers, now only one set of boots. Instead of making a different set of boots, they gave you these boot covers, you see. Uh, they're not that easy to get on, and I can see that over time the seams may give out and they could rip, so uh, the problem of that notwithstanding, uh, I shouldn't have to go look it up online uh, to look at pictures to see exactly how they are to be positioned. Um, now, this uh, jacket here, I put it on in reverse, um, but you can put it on the other way, you see, and it has an opening in the back, um, but I didn't want an opening in the front uh, 
for obvious reasons, but I didn't want her to have a shirt on. I wanted her uh, bare arms this time with this, this, so I turned it around backwards. But what you can do is you can put this outfit on and then turn that around the other way, and then she is not uh, going to catch cold. Um, and uh, now you cannot put this on with this uh, too well. I did try to put that underneath, but uh, it's a little bit too bulky. So uh, this is GL2 uh, here with uh, Gamma Babe unboxing. And oh, uh, also I wanted to mention that uh, they do give you a comment card. They're thanking us for purchasing it. And um, I think I may contact them about the uh, problem with the earrings. Um, I'm not going to send it back uh, because of that. I actually welcome the challenge of repairing something. So, um, or at least uh, <laughs> having Captain Martinez find someone to repair it. You know, one of my engineers. So, anyway, GL2 out, and this is uh, Gamma Babe. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly think that she is, well, <sighs> adorable. There really is no other word for it. So, uh, talk to you later. Goodbye.